did it. I did it. It's 4.45 in the morning and I did it. I'm going to show you how to activate. Everybody's asleep. Sorry, I had to be quiet. I, I'm going to show you how to activate your Spotify playlist with smart things. Okay. First thing you're going to do, you're going to find uh, triggercommand.com, trigger CMD. Go download it, install it on your computer. Okay. And install it into smart things. There's instructions how to do it. Get that done. Come back here. All right. And once you get trigger CMD, you'll know it's down here in your thing. I right click it. First time you run it, you got to do install the background service. It's pretty easy. It just runs and get it on there. Make sure then it's tied into smart things. I made a video on this, so you can just uh, the trigger CMD has got a lot of good instructions on the blog and things free, totally free. Um, they'll give you like one command a minute. Um, but just pay the buck a month and support Russ so that we can keep this awesome thing supported good and and uh, just continue to build the community around it. Uh, Trigger CMD is freaking awesome. It controls so many things on my computer, including Spotify. And anyways, awesome. Okay, now you got that on. Let's go in here and uh, take a look at things. You're going to open up Notepad and you're going to type in into Notepad. Just type in Notepad down here. There it is. And you just type in this. And this will be in the description below. Um, down here. And what this does here is you've got a command line here and that this is going to run. This is going to be like a little script. And so you need to alter it though. You need to have this say your computer name here and where the Spotify is. And just check it. It should be an apps data roaming Spotify, Spotify executable file. Okay. And that'll launch Spotify. And then it kind of uh, stops this little script thing for five seconds. Um, if you need it, it gives it time to load up. And then once it's loaded up, it will actually uh, run the playlist. And you're like, okay, well, so you need to adjust that. And you need to find out where the playlist is. So this, you'll say the user of the playlist and then the playlist uh, name, which is this weird code. Pretty easy to find that. I thought it would be harder. But let's just say we want to go and we want to find uh, night mood, okay? All you're going to do is right click it. Go down to share, copy URI, and you just would highlight, keep the quotations there, and you can just paste it right in there. And now you've got your own in there. Okay, whatever it is. That's pretty much all you need to do. I'll show you what these other ones are in case you want to take them out or do whatever. But you need to leave this enter key in because when you have that enter key, that's actually going to hit this button here. Well, it's just like hitting enter. But once you select it, it's enter. And then I have a wait a little bit. This turns the shuffle on. So like it clicks, toggles this on and off. So it's, you know, depending on what round you're in, it'll just have random songs, okay? And uh, in your playlist. And then it waits for a little bit longer and then it does this. This is actually um, control right for the next song. And the reason that I uh, keep that in there is because Sometimes when I start this Spotify, it just doesn't, even though it'll go to the right playlist, but it won't start any music. But if you hit the control right, and it, it actually starts it up, okay? So it's kind of a fail safe. And uh, let's, let's give it a test. So you've got that there and you want to just test it. And uh, I'm not going to save the changes to it um, in case I mess something up, but I'm going to just make sure this is completely exited. And I'm going to start this thing. Uh, and you want to save it as a .vbs. So when you're saving and you're doing a save as your notepad, do save .vbs, and that makes it into a script. And uh, there you go, you can hear it starting there. So it's just, you know, file save as, and I just type in .vbs. If, you're, if it works, fine. Uh, if your computer already can run scripts and everything, 
I don't, I'm pretty sure that it should be able to do that. I just got Windows 10. You, if you do need something on there, because I did put something called uh, CURL on there, and I have another video if anybody wants that link. Uh, if you do need CURL to run the script, let me know. But I, I don't know if you do or not. Somebody can answer that in the comments. While you're there, subscribe. Um, but honestly, I don't know. I just know that it works. And that's the only other software I've got on here. So that's how you save it. That's pretty much how you make a .vbs file. And that, that, it just works, okay? I just read things and it works. So now let's tie it into smart things, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this, I'll kind of show you how to go into You go into Trigger CMD. I'm gonna right click on it. Uh, I'm gonna use the GUI command editor and it loaded up. I've already got a lot of stuff on here. There's example commands, everything. It's kind of cool. But right now, we're just going to go in here and we're going to put in uh, a new one. I would go add a new command and then I type in name, whatever I want it to be called. And then I type in this exactly here. Now, one other thing is I don't have any spaces in my names here. It seems like I had some spaces here and it wasn't working right. So I just like put Spotify night mood. Okay. And uh, I already actually did this, so I'm not going to make another one, but uh, I'll just kind of open it up. And you can see all I did uh, is I put this in and this thing goes in to the computer and it says, okay, where is this? Well, since it's in a path folder, okay, I put all this script thing in a path folder. Uh, if you want to move like a folder where you're going to make all your stuff, like your scripts, and you want to move it into a path, P-A-T-H, um, there's I, I have a video of how to do that too. But that way I don't have to like type in user, Nate, and da 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 da, and you know, the, the location of it. I can just type in this, and if it's in a folder, it's kind of like putting the folder out on the freeway of your computer. Anything that's in here, all this stuff, I can just type in those things and it can find it. It doesn't have to dig through everything. But basically, I made the whole folder into path and Google how to do that if you want to do that or ask me in the comments and I'll link you to my video. Um, so anyways, I just saved that. That's pretty much the setup I have. I have a voice thing if you want. Like, so I'm going to have my Echo Dot do that and uh, save it. So I can actually test this right here. So I'm going to test it here. Oh, night mood. I'm going to do this. Hit the green arrow and it should open up Spotify and start playing. Okay, there we go. I skipped the song so it starts. So, um, again, if it, if it goes into like the last thing played and you're like, hey, this isn't the right playlist. This is the playlist I was listening to yesterday. For some reason, I go in here and I just double click. I get one of these going. I can start it. You know, and it'll, it'll just, it just fixes it. And I can go, let's try this one. This is a playlist 4777. And I'm going to stop the music. There it goes. Yeah, it's, it's definitely playing in this playlist, which is nice. It just kind of skipped and went to another one in here. There it is. All right. So we know it's working there. So once we've got it in here, into trigger uh, that's easy enough um, I need to uh, go into my um, this is a, just an emulator works pretty good just so I can show you this but I usually do this on my cell phone now one thing I do is I go back in here to my smart apps I open trigger up again and if I haven't had it in there yet I've got those two in there I would literally just click on here and I would you know add them you know I'd be like okay da, 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 night boot whatever and then I just hit done and save now that will throw it into um, back in here and I should be able to go to my home of course I already had it in there but you should be able to go in here and say uh, night boot whatever uh, a little trick is um, you may have a big long computer name here depending on what you named your computer and if you go 
I just named mine X um, in Trigger because I wanted to be able to read these and it was pushing it way over when I had a long computer name. So I'm gonna just show you that where I did that. I just go in here and I go to uh, triggercmd.com and it's is actually opening it up in my other screen here. So let me bring it over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna sign in. And right here, where it takes you in, this is how you know you're at the right screen. Uh, but that's how I got there. I just did it from here to here. And I can view my triggers, I can edit. So I hit edit here, and this is where the name of the computer is. Okay, and I just change it to X, whatever. And uh, that's how I did it. That's how I got this shorter. It was kind of hard to keep the other's name shorter, but because I couldn't figure it out. So anyways, that works. So let's try it here. Let's see if this uh, night mood's gonna fire up for us. And this'll work for my phone, or I can set it automatically, and uh, there it is. Are you gonna play for me? Thank you. Oh yeah, there we go. Actually, I'm gonna listen to that song after I get off here, because I like it. All right, there you go. Um, that is how I got it working. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, Join this little community we're starting here and uh, subscribe and and help out and let us know what you can cre create and control with it. And uh, with something I like, I'll make a video on it. Okay, thanks a lot. See ya.